welcome back to the channel and if you're new around here thank you so much for tuning in today i'm going to give you a quick review of our recent glamping trip to kingfisher lakes so we went glamping for the first time as a family and it was a special occasion because we booked it for my husband's 40th birthday we had a little surprise for him as well the original plan was that we were going to book a, a big cabin for 10 of us to all go to but obviously with the covid restrictions we weren't able to do that anymore but what we did manage to do over at Kingfisher is we managed to get a couple of tents between us. Um, so obviously it helps with my household and it worked really, really well. So we stayed in the Dragonfly Dreams, which actually does sleep up to 10 people. It is directly opposite kind of like the lake. So you've got a really fantastic view. To be honest, they're all along the lake. It's had like a really beautiful view as well and a really nice large outdoor space. Um, so we were really pleased with the choice. Booking was so, so easy. I booked it all online and I did also follow up by a telephone call to a lady called Jo, who ended up being our contact actually for almost the whole thing. Um, jo was really, really helpful. And honestly, it really helps when you've got service with a smile. It makes your stay so much better. And Jo did that. She kind of greeted us from the very start with the biggest smile ever. And it just made us really enjoy your time so much more. Arrival was fine, um, it wasn't too hard to find if I'm honest with you. I used the sat nav um, and we were told to just try and look out for some signs as well because the sat nav didn't take you directly to the, um, to the glamping site. And if I'm honest, it was really easy and if I can find it, anyone can find it. We got there fine, Jo was there to greet us. It was contactless so we didn't have to do any signing or anything. She um, showed us to our, our tent. Joe did the tour, showed us the facilities and then just kind of left us to it and said that we've got her number and if we needed anything we could get in touch, um, which I did do, so that was fantastic. The tent itself, oh my god, it was beautiful. You can see how spacious it is for starters, so you have a huge living area, um, the bedrooms kind of come off it, so it's got like a, a wooden frame on the inside separating the rooms, which I really liked. We slept in the um, the double bedroom, and then the kids chose the uh, the room right next to us actually, which was a bunk bedroom. It had like a double, actually probably a king size at the bottom, and then a single at the top. So they both slept on the bottom there actually in the end. So the inside lovely, really really nice. So much better actually than I'd pictured. And when you look at the photos online, you kind of get in your head don't you, an idea of what it's going to be like. I was wowed when I got there because it was just so much nicer. Um, so outside we had like a really nice decking area with a couple of benches on there and then we had a barbecue outside with all the utensils inside of it as well. All you need to bring for the barbecue is your charcoal. As you can see, you've got a beautiful view of the lake right outside the room, which is so unique. It's so lovely in the morning when you wake up and you can just look outside and see and if there's wildlife, oh it's great. So facilities wise, you can hire a fire pit, um, you can also hire out some kayaks, we did both. So we've got a fire pit for the duration of our stay and the kayaks as well for the whole of our stay. So you don't just pay for it for one use, it's for the whole of your stay. Um, and we went out um, every day actually on the kayaks, one time in torrential rain and the next time it was like bright sunshine. So we got the best of both worlds. So with regards to the rest of the facilities, you have um, a bathroom area, so there's like a block, and at the moment due to the COVID restrictions, they're allocating one shower and one toilet cubicle per guest or per tent. Um, and if I'm honest, I would, I'd like that all the time, because it's just nice, isn't it? When you know that you're the only one using something, and I don't know, I feel a bit more comfortable, but it was really lovely, um, clearly signposted, um, so you couldn't accidentally use somebody else's facilities, it was really good. The touches in the bathroom were so nice, um, so personalised and it really did feel like a home from home. You do get included toilet roll and hand wash, so you just need to take your own toiletries really, like shower gel, um, hair stuff and all that malarkey, you do need to take your own towels as well. Um, but everything else there is included in the bathroom. There's also a kitchen block. And the kitchen is on the other side of the site. I mean, it's not far, so only a few hundred metres to walk to. Um, and that had almost everything you could ever need. Again, like I say, it's a home from home. You've got your, um, your hobs, you've got your toaster, your kettle, all of the cutlery that you might need. You've got some pots and pans, 
um, chopping boards, you know, anything you can think of, they've literally got it there for you. Tea towels, washing up liquid and all of that is included as well. Um, so kitchen roll in the kitchen. So they've really thought of everything. Um, in the room, you do have a small fridge and a kettle. And you've also got a box in the actual tent. Um, a box full of like little plastic plates and bowls, tumblers, um, and then some mugs if you wanted to make tea. And there's all of your um, tea, coffee and sugar and everything as well included. So they've really got so much more there than I imagined that they would have. And then more than they needed to offer actually. Um, but it, it, again, it all added to the experience. We had a little look around at the different tents and there's also some log cabins. Um, I definitely want to try a log cabin, but they're adult only and they're only for two adults. So me and Carl will probably have to go there, but they've got a hot tub and I really, really liked that. And probably the only negative I've got about the stay is that there isn't a hot tub. So if you're booking like a group booking for say a girls weekend away, sometimes it's really nice to have a hot tub included as that and you just can't have it on site even if you try to provide your own so so that was one thing that the only thing actually that i was like oh i wish it had that um but for booking for families like i say it was perfect for us we wouldn't have wanted a hot tub so it was fantastic there's also like by the reception area which would i suppose normally be open um there was also like a little hut full of logs so you can refill the logs for your log fire in, in the tents as well and like these um, eco-friendly fire lighter things for the log fire as well so that was quite nice that you had access to that you got like a, a nice basket that you could go and fill up um, and just take it back to your tent so you didn't have to worry about carrying all that wood by yourself as well which was really nice the location is fantastic um, so if you're looking for food and drink there's plenty of stuff that you can find like we took a lot of our own food actually um, and certainly like barbecue meats and things but on the second night it was raining and um, because the the barbecue had to be placed on the the gravel or the paving slabs it wasn't under cover so we really didn't feel like having barbecue on the second night on the rainy night so we got a takeaway and went to uh, somewhere called Bert's which is really nice it's like pizza and pasta um, oh, I really recommend that if you go we heard there was also a fish and chip takeaway um, and also Chinese so if you did want to treat yourself there's, there's some options there and then there's also supermarkets so there's supermarkets about 15 minutes away but also even closer there's like some mini marts um, which they kind of do all your basics anyway don't they so there's plenty of, of stuff like that for food and drink with regards to other stuff to do in the area if you want a beach I mean it's only 15 minutes away from Hornsea it's fantastic um, you're close to the town of Beverly uh, Bridlington, you can get to all of these places from there so easily, uh, many more. Um, there's uh, shopping areas close by, there's also um, like a little farm, so you could always go to Honeysuckle Farm or Hornsey Freeport. Um, so yeah, I would say that the area itself is really, really good, um, lovely location and there's so many beautiful walks that I really regret we didn't do enough walking. Uh, we were so busy on site and we kept going kayaking, like we were just addicted to kayaking. It was like a country path and we really wanted to go on it because if you walk like 15 minutes you'd end up at the local uh, village um, which I think is Brands Burton and in that village there's probably a couple of shops and stuff but there's also a big play park and we were really excited about maybe getting there. Actually I might be lying, it might have been about 20 minutes and then again obviously 20 minutes back. But we did get around to doing it but that's one for next time. So a couple of tips um, from me, so obviously don't forget to take your own food and drink, your towels your toiletry and your charcoal um, because otherwise you, you won't get the full experience if you don't have all those things but I would also say be prepared for your first night to be really cold um, unless you're going in like the really hot summer months but we went and our first night we probably didn't get our fire started till quite late on because of the excitement of getting there and, and our tent door was open and shut constantly until it was kind of like bedtime and it got quite chilly inside the tent and it was so cold at night, it was uncomfortable. But it was our own fault. I mean, once we were in the beds, we were fine, but we didn't want to get back out again. <laughs> um, but it was because we hadn't warmed it up enough and we didn't really go prepared. Um, so we just had like normal pyjamas, which would probably have been fine if we'd had the tent warmed up, but because we hadn't, and let's remember it is a tent, it was just so cold. So lesson learned, I had to drive home in the morning actually and picked up some essentials. I just wasn't packed with the weather at all. 
um, and I'm so glad I did because then we had like a full day of rain and we were fully kitted out in our waterproofs ready to go kayaking so we didn't it didn't put us off but like you say we did have to make that special effort just to go home and get that so please don't forget it because it might not be so easy for you guys to pop back home what we did find though is on the next day we managed to maintain the fire um throughout the day and then it was so toasty so that was a really good night's sleep we didn't even need any of the essentials that we went home and got um because i even like thought about hot water bottles but we were fine it was a really warm night so i don't think that it's um it's cold all the time it's our own fault really we have the most fantastic time i would definitely recommend the kayaks so i'm going to share with you now some of our best bits we have just arrived at our safari tent oh my god it's beautiful I hope it's inspired you to go along as well. Honestly, I would recommend it. If I were to rate this ho this holiday, I would give it a nine out of 10. The only thing that would edge it for me would be if we could get a hot tub on there because then I could use it um, for different kinds of celebrations as well. But for what we wanted, it was absolutely perfect. From start to finish, we had the best time ever. Everyone that came said exactly the same. We're already looking to book for next year. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.